like Fred Flintstone would never. Fred Flintstone would never. Is it doing the most? Absolutely. Am I always doing the most? Absolutely. So, I mean, it just makes sense, right? Hi everyone, I'm Gabriel Zamora and thank you so much for watching. For today's video, we are talking about makeup and opinions. This video is all about makeup and opinions. I'm really excited because I haven't done a long video with you guys in quite a minute, so this video is very lengthy. Literally, I wanted to recreate how pretty Kylie looked in that eyebrow freaking video. Like, I wanted to just feel pretty, and I was like, oh, I love a pop of color on the inner corner. And it's cute, it's fun, it's simple, it's easy. Like, look at this. I feel cute, and it's literally just a pop of pink on my inner corner, and I feel cute, I live for it. If you don't follow me on all social platforms, you're missing the full Gabriel Zamora experience, the full Hi Everyone experience, because sometimes there's only exclusive things on Snapchat. Sometimes there's only exclusive things on Instagram, Instagram stories, Instagram TV, YouTube. If you're not following me everywhere, you're missing the full experience. So on Twitter, I said, hey guys, I'm getting ready to film uh, another makeup and gossip. I filmed this video a while back called Makeup and Gossip, and it was basically just me talking about my life. So for this video, I wanted it to be more so, what do y'all like to hear? So I asked on Twitter, because I feel like my Twitter fam is very interactive. If you don't follow me on Twitter, you can follow me at Gabriel Zamora. And if you wanna know exactly what my opinions are on certain things, and remember you guys, remember, you remember before you even, before you even go past this part, this video, you guys, I got my mic closer, so let me know in the comment section down below if you like this mic situation, how it's sounding. Um, it's my opinion, okay? You're on Gabriel Zamora's channel, and this is my opinion. Hi, everyone. If you are here to enjoy my opinion, the same way you're allowed to have one, I'm allowed to have one, even if we disagree on it. Hi, everyone. Oh my God, I have new merch, you guys. If not, bye, everyone. I needed to make like a bye, everyone shirt because sometimes I'm like, bye, everyone, if you don't want to be a part of that. <laughs> If you want to know exactly what my opinion is and I guess I just apply makeup and we just talk about opinions. It's literally a long ass video. You know this is a long ass video. You know I haven't given you a long video in a minute. So let's hang out, girl. Let's hang out. <coughs> Hi everyone. How are you everyone? Okay everyone, so for today's video, we are talking about makeup and opinions. That's what I'm gonna call it. That's what I call it on my little spreadsheet. Okay, do any of y'all like making spreadsheets? Like I'm obsessed with making spreadsheets, like obsessed. Also, are we liking the audio? So I have the mic kind of closer to me as opposed to like above the camera. It's not closer to me. I don't know if we like that. Let me know down in the comment section down below. But I basically am so obsessed with spreadsheets that I made a spreadsheet for my YouTube videos. Like literally my own spreadsheet. I literally have a section for intros. What do I want to talk about in my intros? The body, there's certain five points that I want to start talking about. My outro, make sure you turn off the mic, the lights, what time so I can kind of compare when did I start, the lights are at. Editor, do I, do I have somebody helping me edit? Is it sponsored? Is it a collab? Comments, products used? I like to write it down. <laughs> I have too much time on my hands. Don't you dare come for me, okay? This is, this video, please, there's no judgment, right? This video is all about opinions. I actually used, what is it, numbers on Apple, whatever. You're, this is not what you're here for, this is just for me. I don't know why, I love an Excel sheet. The majority of this video is basically just gonna be me applying makeup and stating my opinion on things because, let's start it, you guys, okay? It's just my opinion. I'm not saying that what I'm saying is right, it's just my opinion. I asked y'all on Twitter and this is what y'all want my opinion on, so. Since this is the Gabriel Zamora YouTube channel, Gabriel Zamora will be stating his op I think I'm addicted to stating my opinion. I think I'm addicted to stating my opinion. But we are on my YouTube channel. I respect people's opinions if they're if it's on their YouTube channel. If you want to comment it on mine, okay, just don't be rude. Like, just don't be disrespectful. Like, don't say I'm like a horrible scum spawn of Satan and I should die. Like, if you do that, I'm going to probably block you. But if you're not and you respect that, even if you don't agree with someone's opinion, it's just that, someone's opinion. So in the same way that you don't want someone to be offended by your opinion, even though you're like, but this is my opinion, you can't be offended by other people's opinions. Can I get an amen? If you get offended by other people's opinions, I can just already tell you, I don't care. <laughs> okay, everyone, let's begin, everyone. Okay, so we're gonna prime everyone. I'm using the Ofra Coolest Cucumber Primer. It looks like this. It's just, it feels really nice. I don't really need the D, I need the money. Also, if you don't know, you guys, I have new merch. This is one of my Bye Everyone's. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Adios, everyone. Bye, everyone. On 
April 28th. Hi everyone, about to film a makeup and gossip video. What would you like my opinion on? This is a lengthy video. You saw the timestamp. You know I'm gonna be talking. You know I love to talk. You know I love to talk. Oh, if there's anything I love more than it is, it's to talk. First tweet. Dene, your relationships and how they... So one of the first tweets, I did say, ask me anything, right? Your relationship and how they might have changed and how they have only gotten stronger. Well, relationships change and I feel like that's what happens when it comes to growth. You know, you get to know people. People might come and go out of your life, but I think as long as you are authentically yourself, there's nothing you really to like be sad about if a relationship per se ends because it's like, okay, it ended, but I was still myself. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta like just communicate sometimes. <laughs> I will say I am more considerate as to people being able to make their own choices and respecting people's choices. I feel like my friendships have gotten stronger because it's like I, if I fuck with you, I fuck with you and can't nobody it up but you so i'm a, i'm gonna respect your choices and if i disagree with them if they're really really bad then i just you know there's millions and billions of people in the world that like, you're not gonna get along with everyone you have to understand what your what your line is does that make sense your line as to what you deem a friend should be like is up to you so if you don't feel like a friend should be doing certain things that's completely up to you i hope that makes sense just a little moment to choose me on. You know what I mean? A moment to choose to me are. Oh my God, Latina time. Um, if you wanna know what gossiping is in Spanish, it's chismear, like a chisme is like a, it's like gossip. This foundation looks a little dark in person. I'm literally trying out the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, Y415. Um, I don't know if I like that. So back to good old Faithful, the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. I'm literally like, this is my obsession, but I'm trying to try out other foundations. And I was like, oh my God, I remember when I swatched this, I really liked it, but I'm like, this is a little dark. What did I just say? <laughs> Maybe I'll use this. Oh my God, look, you guys, I bought something on Amazon. Okay, my next video is gonna be like an Amazon haul. But look, I bought these sponges, you know, the Juno and Co ones. Look, I bought the four pack. Well, I didn't buy a four pack. I bought. Did I buy a four pack? Yeah, it was a four pack. It was 20 bucks on Amazon. I'll link it down below. I bought these two, right? Because I'm obsessed with it. So now I have a total of four little sponges. These two, cause I was like, ooh, look, this is flat for baking. And this is my obsession. It's literally $20 for four. And I'll link it down below. Cause bitch is not Amazon. I was like, oh my God. Sorry. Hey girl. Hey girl. Back to the messages. Okay. Fake friends and how to spot them. Um. I think it's kind of hard to say like, if this person does this, they're a fake friend. I think that every kind of situation is very just, it's your situation. So in that situation, do you feel like hurt by this person? What do you consider fake? What do you consider fraudulent behavior? You have to ask yourself that. You know what I found out recently that people don't talk to themselves. You're trying to tell me you don't talk to yourself? Like, how do you bounce off ideas? Like, I'm crazy. I have multiple conversations within one conversation. Like, you know when, like, you go on tangents? Bitch, I go on tangents with myself. With myself. I'm constantly talking to myself. But do you talk to yourself? Like, do you check in from time to time? Like, look at the situation. Look at the another. Like, you always have to look at different perspectives. If you really feel hurt and betrayed by someone and you're like, wow, like, you're fake. You're fraudulent. Can you bring it up to your friend and address the situation? And be like, hey. I disagree with this. And it's like, okay, you can have an educated conversation. And if they don't see your side, then you are more than welcome to not be friends with them anymore. That's perfectly fine. You can't take other people's advice to how to live your own life. At the end of the day, you have to make decisions for you because can nobody else make them? Because if somebody else does it and it turns out bad, you have to be able to stand by those decisions. So as long as you're making authentic, true... Bitch, how am I going on this tangent? How to spot fake friends? If they make you feel weird, I, I have a really good sense of energy. Ooh, I have a really good sense of energy. There's something about energies that I'm like, mm hmm, this seems fraudulent. This seems fraudulent. <laughs> I'll detect like fraudulent energy. And I'm like, mm -mm, I don't think I with this person. And I just, I don't have to. There's so many people that I don't fucks with that I'm very respectful with. Because that's that's just what it is. Just because you don't fucks with someone doesn't mean you have to be disrespectful to them. Um, But yeah, this Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Don't... <laughs> I dare someone. If you have other foundation recommendations, like, oh, bitch, if you love this foundation, you're gonna love, don't they have a dewy one? I really wanna try their dewy one. But if you have foundation recommendations that you think can beat this foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me one, please leave them down in the comment section down below. I'd be like, girl, if you love this foundation, you gotta try this one. Cause I literally have not found anything that beats this. Like, oh, 
So once you apply your foundation, then I like to go over it with a sponge. But see, this is kind of like the fun part with it, all this, is that I can kind of designate now different sponges as opposed to no shade to beauty blender, no shade at all, but this is $20 for one. In this one, I get four. So it's not shade, it's just like, where do you want to spend your money? I like to have multiple beauty sponges, and to be quite honest, I just get free shit all the time when it comes to the beauty world. So I have to sometimes be like, okay, not everyone can have like literally four beauty sponges. <laughs> like I have so, like, Look at all these beauty sponges I have, just for fun, just for shits and giggles that I collect. If you really want to splurge and you got $20 and you got an Amazon Prime account because you know it's gonna come in two days, girl. Oh, it's gonna come in two days, girl! I'm gonna use one to blend the foundation. This one I wanna use to bake. And then this one I wanna use to like blend out the concealer. And then I have another extra one. I got four and I don't have to use the same one. You know how like sometimes like when you try to blend your foundation and then you also try to bake, but then you try to like, you're still trying to like blend shit out and then it's just like, you know what I mean? Like they're all separate. Like, no need to stress. I'm such a f***ing hippie dude. <laughs> Okay, everyone, so for concealer, I'm using KKW Beauty number eight concealer. We have another question. We have Ruby Lively Colors. Have you ever met a beauty influencer who actually didn't care about their fans, only what they gave them, such as fame? I pass the question off to you. Is it valid then to have a beauty influencer care about their fans but only because they give them fame. So yeah, one can be mad at someone that's like, oh, well, you don't even care about your followers and all you want is fame. Okay, yeah. But then is it valid for someone to only care about their followers because it brings them fame? But I think a lot of people do appreciate their fans. I've met rude influencers who aren't per se the same way that they are online. Yeah, that I've met for sure. Like when I came into this, like I was a fan of certain people. So then when I'm like, ew, you're rude. I met some rude people who like only care about their fans because they're becoming famous and don't give a fuck about anybody else. Oh, and I'm not gonna name no names. You think I'm gonna be that messy? Absolutely not. Ah! Hello? Oh my God, guess what the f just happened? What? Yes. Are you pregnant? I'm pregnant. Oh my God, you're pregnant! Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Hi everyone, okay, I'm back everyone. I'm blending my concealer, everyone. I'm gonna, currently I'm using Patrick's Powder, the MAC one. The reason why I'm using it is because if I use the Jeffree one, I'm gonna be red. Girl, like the negativity sometimes, I'm like, damn, I get it. Like, don't focus on the negativity, but sometimes I'm like, what? Now I can't review it just because I was in the campaign? Like, yeah, girl, some people were upset. I was like, wait, what are you upset about? That I'm doing my job? I review makeup. Yeah, I'm in it, but I still wanna review it. And then some people were mad about my thumbnail, which I'm like, if anybody's gonna do my truth thumbnail again and like joke and poke at the situation, I feel like it's gonna be me, right? But then I was like, you know what? Who cares? Everybody else lived for it. Like, you know when someone like, you know, people could be living for you and then all of a sudden someone say something sly and you're like, what did you say? What did you say? I'm gonna get back to this happy fest, but Oh my God, I live. Lucky wish I was sponsored by them. Cause I'm like, yo dude, I'm fucking living. Like, um, okay, next question. James Charles ticket prices, LOL. Damn, you got likes girl. Okay, um, the ticket prices. So honestly, I would have charged the same and that's not even me being at James Charles's number, so. I just don't understand how someone is gonna tell someone how they should value themselves. I get that. Not everyone can afford it. Imagine if you were a makeup artist or a hairdresser and you set your prices to where like, hey, for me to provide a service, this is what I charge. And then people are like, you are not worth that. Who are you to tell someone they're not worth that? You can't be upset that someone's charging for that when they give you so much free content. You don't have to go to the meeting and greet. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to break the bank. You don't, if you can't, don't. It's that simple. If you can't, don't. It's perfectly fine. Concerts are up to like almost like four, $5,000 for a seat in the front, like one of the front rows. You're getting an experience, girl, and it's actually cheaper than that. I'm happy he came out with the verse because I would have come out with the same prices and I wouldn't have changed my, I don't give a fuck. You can't accommodate everyone, and that's perfectly fine. If you can't afford that, it doesn't mean that all other people can't. Some people can. 
Like, was someone forced to buy it? Let me go put on some brows. I look crazy. <laughs> okay, so I was gonna bring you in, but I was like, why does it matter? I'm not even doing anything intricate for my eyes. I literally just wanna feel pretty. Like that Kylie Jenner eyebrow video. Oh, she just looks so pretty. I don't think I can literally play any of it because is that song released? It's not that she doesn't have eyeshadow. It's just that it's very close to her bronzer shade. And then she has that pop of pink in the inner corner and it's just lashes and a little bit of wing liner on the outer corner, not so much on the inside. So it's all about the lashes. I'm not gonna do individual lashes, but I really love the pop of pink. I think it's so, y'all know I love a pop of color in the inner corner. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the James Charles Morphe palette because it has that pink. Is this the one that stains your eye? It almost looks like a bronzer color. This one right here. I'm just, okay, I don't even feel like I need to show you. I'm just gonna, sh I'm just gonna tell you, okay? Hannah Louise Rose, Hannah L. Rose 98, the shadiest thing that's happened in the beauty community. In your opinion. Hi everyone. How are we liking this mic? I don't know. It's hard, cause like a lot of this shit is not even public. Like that's a, like, oof. Y'all know what happened with me. I feel like that's probably the shadiest moment because it happened to me, so. I think that's the shadiest moment because it happened to me. <laughs> Paola Lola Hola asks, I'd really like your opinion on being the most Latina in the makeup industry. I mean, do you feel like it's been more difficult to be a Latina within this community? Um, I don't think it's been more difficult because I feel like there's just like a lot of Latinas out there. So I think the only part that's difficult is probably like trying to make Spanish content. But making Spanish content doesn't justify you being Latina. I think it's just you being proud. I think that's all you really have to do to be Latina. And can't nobody tell you you're not Latina. You know what I mean? Can't nobody tell you you're not what you believe you are. You know? I mean, if you believe you're Superman, I feel like people can tell you you're not Superman. But if you believe it, as long as you're not hurting people, go off. Think you're Superman. Does that make sense? Cookie Guru asks, why YouTubers block people when they don't agree with them? I'm not talking about blocking people who are being straight up rude and disrespectful. I'm talking about fans respectfully disagreeing with you guys' opinions and y'all blocking. I feel like we are creatures of emotion. You have to think about it. I feel like we're more creatures of emotion than we are of logic. And if you hurt someone's feeling, they're gonna act out of emotion. Cause I remember like I went through a situation where people were leaving shady little comments and people were liking them. So I'm like, wait, 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 hold up. So first of all, you wanna leave something shady. And then second of all, you just wanna like it? Oh, you're all getting blocked, all y'all. At the end of the day, you have to understand, ain't nobody owe you to not, like, not blocking you. Does that make sense? If somebody blocks you, somebody blocks you. It can hurt your feelings, but for some reason they blocked you. So you can block whoever you want to. I don't mind constructive criticism. I don't mind negative seeming comments. Cause it's like, oh, I disagree with you because blah, 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 blah. I don't mind a conversation. I don't mind an educated conversation that I will kind of engage with. Just be like, hey, I don't agree with blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, brrr. like we can have an educated conversation. Now, if you leave something disrespectful, block. If you leave something homophobic, block. If you just say I'm a horrible human being because you stand this person and you don't understand, block. If you like a shady comment of mine, block. Um, Yeah, I can block whoever I want to because I can. It's something that's available to everyone. If so-and-so blocked you, so-and-so blocked you. There are some people who don't like criticism. There are some people who don't understand what constructive criticism is and what is it. If you disagree with me, okay, like, I don't care. Like, go off, sis. We can disagree. Now, if you're being rude and shady, like, everybody feels like they're owed something. Nobody's owed anything when it comes to blocking and unblocking. Like, it's really just, it's really just social media. Like, it's, thank you guys. It's just social media. Curly bomb cat. Curly bomb. Any love interests? When did you become about that pony life and why? Love interests? I currently don't have any love interests. I'm very comfortable being, I feel like I'm at a point where I feel very comfortable being single. 
I think I've always been under the impression where like, I need to be in a relationship. I need to be in another relationship. I need to be in a relationship. Kind of like forcing things that maybe shouldn't really be or I'm trying to like look past certain red flags. I'm pretty honest with the people I hang out with that I'm not looking for anything really serious unless I deem it to be something that I'm like, oh, this could actually be serious. Like I'm open to the possibility, but it's not my priority right now, you know? I need to focus on my career. I'm in my 20s. I'm literally in my 20s. If it happens, it happens. I'm not gonna say no. I mean, I'm such a fucking hopeless romantic. Like, if Bad Bunny like DMs me and he's like, baby, soy Bad Bunny, and I want I want you to risk it. I'm like, oh my God, I'm, I'm willing to risk it all. Like, fuck the beauty community, fuck all y'all. I don't give a fuck about y'all no more. I'm, I, I got that money. Like, I don't feel like I'm picky. There's just certain things that I'm like, this is a requirement. Kind of like a deal breaker for us to even continue trying to create something more serious. You know, because everybody want to be friends. Sometimes it's like, oh, I don't really like see it like that. And I'm like, well, I'm not looking for friends, to be quite honest. So, especially if I met you off of Tinder, like, I'm looking for dates. Speaking of, oh, Bumble. And I'm just placing it there. Oh, when did you become about that 420 life? That 420 life, you guys, you have to just, the reason why I don't talk about it is because I understand that it's not legal everywhere. In California, it is. So, uh, I try not to boast about something that isn't legal everywhere. Because in certain states, it's illegal. So when did I become very high everyone? I feel like I started accepting the high everyone lifestyle when I moved to LA. And then now I'm like such a huge advocate for it, but I get that it's just not legal everywhere. So I can't really like fully promote it, but I don't know, I stand by it. Hi everyone. Tea on what new sheet? you working on. Okay, so right now, going to New York City for the launch of a brand. I think I'm gonna start then implementing, bringing in just outside help. I really need an editor, and I've been looking into that because as much as I want full control, I think that as you grow, you have to understand where you have to loosen your grip on things to continue to grow. I love editing, but it takes me too long. And for me to be the best version of me so that I can create more content for y'all, I have to loosen the grip and I have to find an editor whose editing I like of me. Now, I feel like I can find someone that either edits like me or edits better than me. That would be amazing if someone could edit better than me. Absolutely. Just a lot of things are changing. You know, I feel like every everyone's like, this is my year. Bitch, this is your life. Regardless of what year it is, this is your life. You should just be doing things that are growing you regardless of how long it takes regardless of when you're doing it just do things that are like helping you grow as a person you know i'm also working on things like behind the scenes that i can't really like talk about but i feel like everyone says that what if it doesn't develop into what i want it to be and i'm like you know what it's not what i want to be and then i said it you know what i mean so i'm allowing things to play out for what they are and then yeah heather segura your opinions on drama channels my opinion on drama channels is simply, and I had this conversation with someone, I get why they're called drama channels because the majority of the time there is a lot of focus on negativity and controversy and big names. So I don't see really a whole lot of drama channels shining a whole lot of light on the positive aspect of the beauty community. So yeah, I get their commentary channels and sometimes their opinion isn't the worst, but your opinion is off of controversy. There's certain people who aren't per se creating conversation. It's just, you're just kind of talking about gossip and it, if someone is talking about you, okay? Someone that you don't know one-on-one, -on -one, someone is talking about you based on what they've seen of you and they're only really talking about certain negative things in your life, of course you're gonna be upset in that situation. I can see that if someone was like, well, Gabriel messed up on this, Gabriel messed up on that. Like, did you see Gabriel's eyeliner? It looked so bad. Okay, if you're focusing on negative things, don't be surprised. Now there's certain ones that I'm like, okay, like you create conversation or you entertain. I'm not sitting there watching every single video, but girl, let's call, like, let's keep it a hundred. Like, like, can we keep it a hundred? If people say they don't watch drama channels, cool. Say you don't watch drama channels. But I've met a lot of people who say they don't watch drama channels and they watch drama channels. So I get it. Like, some people don't want it, but it is what it is, it's there. I respect that people have an opinion, okay? I don't always have to agree with people's opinions. The same way I don't always have to agree with Wendy Williams. Like, she is a commentary person. She's talking about hot topics. I get it. Like, I get the, the correlation of it all. Can we bring more positivity into it? Can we talk about people's accolades, people's achievements, people's positive endeavors? Maybe from time to time, we just talk about positivity. This pink is so pretty. 
Now I'm gonna put on a lash. Okay, so I'm doing a goddess lash by Lily Lashes because it's a lighter lash. I've been really obsessed with the Miami. You know what? I never thought that I would be obsessed with Miami lashes. Not even gonna lie. I've always thought that I've had such small eyes that my eye can't carry such a big lash. Lashes on, hopefully it stays on, right? Holly Sone, James betraying Tati and having his mom do his dirty work. I guess I'm confused. And this is just me. I don't get where the betrayal was. Like, okay, the mom thing, cool, I get it. Y'all can't be surprised at someone's mom. Like, that's our child. Like, I'm not surprised. Okay, if we're keeping it 100, this is just my opinion. And I'm just going based off of, let's first go based off of what we've just seen on the internet, right? IG stories were posted. Moments later, she's crying on the internet. There's no communication, personal communication behind the scenes. It's made out to be this big, like, thing, James apologizes on IG stories. C correct me if I'm wrong down below. He apologizes on IG stories. Then all these videos are made because it's literally my recommended. Because like, it's like popular videos, like with thousands of views. Um, well, is this, <laughs> is this true? Like, you know, sometimes you look at a video and you're like, is this true? Let me just click on it. Let me just click on it. I know a little bit more. So sometimes I'm able to kind of like decipher the nonsense a little bit more. So then I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, so all these videos are being made where James is made out to be this horrible human being. And I'm just confused as to what happened. <laughs> oh, it's about loyalty. It's the loyalty aspect of it. And I'm like, wait, no, but what was done? For me, it looks like someone posted IG stories and then someone cried. I'm like confused. Cause I'm like, wait, what did this person do? Like, I'm just still confused as to what did James do? What, like what happened to Tati? I looked into it because you have to understand multiple perspectives, right? In this situation, I was like, okay, loyalty. In the T-Spo video, there's literally content of James going out of his way to promote the brand, right? And they're like, well, she did that video. And I'm like, about his palette? She reviewed his palette, her job? No shade. If someone, maybe like, okay, maybe if someone's like a fitness blogger and they only do fitness stuff, or maybe a PewDiePie or somebody like who isn't makeup reviewed it, one can be like, whoa, this person went out of their way to review your thing. That whole support thing, I'm like, that doesn't make sense to me. Only thing I can think of as to why she was upset is because he posted that Sugar Bear hair thing. Well, that's her number one competitor. And I'm like, well, Sugar Bear hair was around before her. Homeboy is exclusive to her? So he can now promote, like, that's the only thing I'm like. And then some people were like, well, there's more behind the scenes stuff. Y'all swear y'all know behind the scenes stuff. Like they really swear. And it's not even y'all. Like, that's why I was like, do you ever just like have time to just dive in? Like, sometimes I have time, not even gonna lie. And I was like, let me dive into this. Let me explore this situation a little bit more. And I, for some reason, cannot find out what he did. Cool. Like the only thing I can think of, I'm like, okay, so what did he do to make her cry? Promote sugar bear hair. My favorite thing to do in a situation is always play devil's advocate. I know for a fact that there is a influencer coming out with a vitamin collaboration and it's not with either brand that we're discussing. And this is someone who, I'm trying to find my nose contour brush. Okay. This is someone who James is friends with. James has had on his channel. So I'm confused as to, wait, so he can't promote that? And like, to think that a brand is just gonna give you something is ridiculous. The brand is gonna be like, cool, you need security? What do we get in return? You can charge for those stories, that has a value. Paying for security and paying for people to be there, that has value, there's an exchange. That has to be disclosed because you are exchanging value. FTC and disclosures is a whole different topic. Nobody asked about that, right? And then even then, I saw a video that said, well, how would so-and-so feel if Gabriel promoted a competitor? Bitch. If I want to promote the KKW brightening powder, or if I want to promote the Dragon Beauty brightening powder, trust me when I tell you, Nikita don't give a f okay? So that little storyline, we can diminish. Is that brand, is that company like done? Oh, is it canceled? Were those Snapchat stories the end all be all of that brand? No, okay. And it's not even just her crying over vitamins. It's the fact that all these channels and all these people are just continuously like making videos on it, talking about it making this a thing and I'm like, really over vitamins? How are you going to diminish someone's feelings in a situation that they feel wronged in when you yourself during drama get in were trying to explain your feelings because you felt wronged? And I was like, no, 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 sweetheart. The reason why I made the My Truth video was because that's what they wanted. That's what they wanted. They wanted, a, they wanted an explanation on YouTube, right? 
cool, I'll make an explanation on YouTube. I could have handled all this privately, but because it started publicly, it had to end and be addressed publicly. Does that make sense? So if you're gonna go on the internet and cry and heavily imply that there's a horrible human being and everybody can get what it is, Girl, sit on the internet and talk about it then. Well, it's about loyalty. Like he should not be promoting competitive things. So I'm like, wait, 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 wait. What if she came out with the palette? He can't promote palettes? Oh, well, no, because he promotes makeup. No, get the fuck out of here. Like, don't miss me with that. If we want to talk about loyalty, didn't she do a video with Thomas? Somebody who has gone out of their way to try to bring down certain people, right? Allegedly, but that wasn't an issue. But clearly they don't fucks with each other, right? Right, right? Tati don't fuck with sugar bear hair. So James has to be loyal to Tati and can never do anything with sugar bear hair. Didn't she create a video with somebody who's gone out of their way to literally bring this person in a bad light to talk so much about James? But she did a video, but nobody talked about that. Why? Because James didn't make a big deal out of it. She made a deal out of this whole vitamin situation. She went on to cry and heavily imply, and even as videos are coming out about it, she doesn't seem to think that, hey guys, it's not about James. Hey guys, me and James are gonna handle this privately. But she wants to like tweet all these other things. I'm like, girl, just really, y'all don't see the game. Y'all really don't see the game. Yeah, I get it. People, people wanna spend their time however they wanna spend it. And that's how some people are choosing to spend their time, to do fraudulent behavior. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so confused, girl. If you know a little bit more about the situation and you want to like clarify, and maybe I'm missing a certain part of this story, help me understand it because I still to this day don't understand what happened to Tatu. I don't know what lipstick I want. I want something nude because she feel like she had something nude. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, I'm going to use the Right No A Cream Sheen Lipstick by MAC. Tell us juicy stories about what goes on behind the scenes. No need to tell the names of the people involved in those stories. I think the shadiest thing that happens behind the scenes is people like really playing a narrative and play the victim. I think there's a lot of victiming. Everybody thinks they're a victim in 2019 and I get it. You can go through things, but everybody is going through something. And if you can't acknowledge that, you can't act like your troubles are far greater than anybody else's in the same way that if you complain, you can't be like all sorts of press that some people don't give a fuck because they're worried about their own life. I love lipstick. <laughs> Look how pretty this is. Oh, I'm gonna use Kylie Cosmetics' gloss in Exposed. It's literally one of my favorite glosses. Tiffany Ironage. I don't know, everything pretty much nailed it. If anything, I know you would be truthful on these topics. So I'm really looking forward to what you have to say. Hopefully you can speak on it. Tiffany, thank you. I have to always remember that there are, there's a certain community that's obsessed with drama and they travel. There's like a good couple thousand. So whenever people react to drama, it's not that hundreds of thousands of people. Like sometimes it's like, girl, you don't have to react to it because it's not even that many, but you kind of almost want to react to it because it's like a thousand people. The people that are in it for the drama, I feel like travel in packs and they end up leaving like that lasting impression of like, oh my God, all this drama is coming on my page and I get why certain people feel the need to address it. Touch a dewy skin mist, right? You spray it on there and without actually spraying it on your face, you place it and you only make these areas that you placed it dewy. Stunning, right? There are certain people who watch commentary channels who may not be the most negative, but they get riled up and they go leave these comments and they go spam and spam and spam and spam and they have multiple accounts and sometimes you're just like, you notice it, even though you have hundreds of thousands and you have thousands of all this, sometimes you notice it. So if you ever see your one of your like favorite influencers, sometimes leaving a comment of like, hey, I'm living for you lately, or hey, like just showing love sometimes like, oh, it feels good. Because sometimes like those drama videos, I'm like, oh, people really like become like, like, it has my name on it. Do I look like Kylie Jenner now? Oh, I feel so pretty. <laughs> girl, nonsense and tomfoolery. Irina, a bunch of numbers. Opinion about my girl, Tana Mojo. Tana Mojo is literally one of the sweetest people I've ever met. And not even saying like, oh my God, she's an amazing human. I met her so long ago. I remember in 
Vegas and she showed us around and I'm like, she was so sweet. Like I live for her. Like she's really sweet. I get that. Like, you know, she gets herself in some situations, but to be quite honest, I, ne I don't get bad energy from her. I'm not telling you to feel some type of way. Do you know what I mean? But when I get bad energy from people, trust me, I've been right. BZ Infinity Sting, how to keep it 100 in all aspects of life. Keeping it 100 in all aspects of life really means standing by your word, standing by your truth, that if you say it, you can stand by it. And it, girl, if you change your opinion, people can change their opinion. You're a human being. You're not a creature of logic. You're a creature of emotions a lot of the time. So it's fine for you to change your opinion on something. It's perfectly fine. But what you say, you have to stand by it. And you have to keep it 100 always with yourself. And how do you keep it 100? It's just like, can, if I'm keeping it 100, it means look at all aspects as well. Look at all perspectives as well. Don't only look at yourself because that's not 100%. That's only 100 to you. Jennifer Rose, when someone supports their friends publicly and the friends don't return the favor. The favor, hence the word favor. If you do something for someone expecting something in return, you weren't doing it for them, you were doing it for yourself. If you do something and you expect something in return from someone, that you weren't giving, you were doing it as a transaction. So that's not giving. You can't put expectations on someone because these are your expectations in your own head that you are setting on someone else. And if they don't meet them, then you're upset. If they supersede them, wow, they went above and beyond. No, 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 no. Human beings are human beings and let allow human beings to speak on their character by their action. Does that make sense? Understand how they treat you, understand how they treat others, understand how they treat waiters, Oh, bitch, there's nothing I hate more than someone who litters and someone who treats like waiters and people who work at clothing stores poorly. Waiters, oh, y'all deal with some rats sometimes. Oh, the way people treat other people also speaks so highly about them. If it's a favor, it's just that, a motherfucking favor. You did a favor. I don't understand why you expect something in return. If it was such a favor, understand what a favor is. I'm not I'm not mad at you, I'm not mad at you. It just has a lot of likes and it has a little sip thing, so I understand the shade that's going on there. Sugar bear hair. I actually don't use sugar bear hair. I've used it a couple times, like, I do have a bottle. You wanna play the game? Let's play the game. Okay, so I have sugar bear hair. I wonder if this is like an old one. I stole this from Nikita, cause I love a biotin pill for my hair but I have to take it in such low doses because if I take too much biotin, I get too oily and then I start to break out. But because I'm currently doing laser hair removal, taking hair vitamins that promote hair growth all over are probably not the best. The only vitamins I technically do take are these two. It's literally a one a day, men's one a day. And then this one is a vitamin D3, which is bone and immune support. I don't drink a lot of milk. I don't fish oil. And then I have an airborne. How do I feel about sugar bear hair? Bitch, I'll do a sponsored pose. I totally believe in biotin. It does help. But guess what? You see this head of hair? You see this head of hair? This is genetics. I think the only reason why I would take sugar bear hair is simply because I bleach my hair so much. And I just need something to protect it. I can't just be doing masks all the time. It's kind of annoying to be quite honest. I actually hate fixing my hair. I want my hair right now. I need a haircut. It isn't even sponsored and I'm like giving them love because I'm like, go buy sugar bear hair. Go buy a one a day. Because honestly, you should be taking vitamins. I understand one should be taking vitamins, but even then, why are we acting like that's the only one? Not Becky at low Becky one, two, three underscore. Bad Bunny's nails. Okay. Let me tell you about my obsession with Bad Bunny. This video is really long. Um, let me tell you about my obsession with Bad Bunny. I'm obsessed with Bad Bunny and I'm in love with Bad Bunny simply because Spanish swag fucks me up. You know that music is good. Ooh, he fine. Mm, him and J Balvin, just anything. Ozuna, like, ooh. I really like Ozuna's music. Um, that's not even what y'all asked me. So his nails, I live. I'm not a nail person. Would I still date Bad Bunny if he wore nails? Absolutely. I don't give a fuck. Hey Blinky, beauty gurus with too much plastic surgery. Why does it bother you what somebody else does with their own life? Like honestly, truly. If somebody wants to get surgery, what's it to you? I got liposuction with a fat transfer on my butt. I get lip filler the house. I get filler in my face. Some people are like, you you look so much better without all that, all that, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Girl, trust me when I tell you, I'm still gonna get more surgery. And if you feel offended by that, guess what? I don't care. Who feels offended by me doing my own thing and me living my own life? If somebody gets too much plastic surgery, why does it, does it hurt you? No. 
go off. If it looks good, it looks good. If it looks bad, it looks bad. Gina underscore Marie underscore seven. Flour tortillas or corn? Well, it just kind of like depends on what I'm doing. Corn tortilla just being a little bit harder. So it's a lot easier and stiffer and it holds everything together. And a flour tortilla is just more like bendy. So yeah. Flour tortilla or corn, it just depends on the situation. I like both for different situations. You guys, I love you so much. Um, this has been a long video. Um, if you like this mic, let me know. If we like this little kind of like makeup and opinions type of video, um, let me know as well because you know I have an opinion. And what would you think about maybe instead of it being on YouTube, maybe it's a podcast. Would that be easier? Like I've even thought about podcasts because I'm like, it's really easy. It's just like me talking and you know I love to talk. So I'm really like, if you think a podcast would be cool. I feel like I can't do it by myself because then I would go on tangent and I don't like that. I like conversation. I feel like it would have to be with somebody else, with like a friend, just so I could be able to bounce off ideas. And then we can even have callers. <gasps> oh my God. And we can have hot topics. We can talk about what's going on in beauty. We can talk about what's going on with celebrities. We can dive into mentality and dissecting situations, zooming out of situations. We don't even have to talk about the beauty community. We talk about Girl, that would be really exciting. Let me know down in the comment section down below. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel because we're almost at a million subscribers. Hi everyone, a million hi everyone. So what's gonna happen when I hit a million subscribers? Do I have to, do I have to say hi everyone a million times? Like, could you imagine? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, opinions, within respectful boundaries, don't be cursing, calling anybody out on their name, nothing. If you're just like, oh, well, I think this. Just leave it down in the comment section down below. I don't mind conversation. I actually appreciate conversation. Please. I really don't mind. Please leave it down below. If anything, engage with each other. Please don't fight. Please don't. If you do not agree with someone and for some reason you can both not get to a agreement, that's when you're just like, let's agree to disagree. Truly, let's agree to disagree. This has been a long ass video. I love you guys so much. Um, Until next time. Bye everyone. Oh my God, you guys. And also I have new merch. This is part of my bye everyone. Bye everyone. Bye everyone. I wanted it to be very like summer vibes, but I still like a long sleeve. I think there's an adios everyone, isn't there? Is there an adios everyone? Bye everyone. <laughs>